Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article and if you look at the pictures, we see some kind of vehicle, some kind of car. So let's see what it is. It says self-driving robot cars in Dubai. So we can kind of figure out what self-driving robot cars is. It's a car that can drive by itself. So it's like a robot. And where is it taking place? In the country of Dubai. Uh, so we know that Dubai is in the edge of the Middle East. So let's see what's going on with this new self-driving robot cars. It says self-driving technology used to be a futuristic idea which can only be seen in science fiction movies. So we know that futuristic has the word future in it and that means a uh, long time in uh, the future that has yet to come. So we know that the past and the future is still to come. So we thought that the technology, the know-how to use things, machines or devices like a self-driving car, we thought that that would not happen to way, way, way down the road. So we thought that it was something that we can only see in movies like science fiction. Science fiction usually deals with a lot of uh, technology and it usually deals with uh, the future. So we thought that things like this we won't see in our lifetime, but maybe 50 years, 100 years into the future. However, it has now become a reality. So reality means something that we can see, uh, something that we can experience and do, something that is real right now. In recent years, motor companies such as Mercedes, BMW and Tesla Motors have all introduced their own self-driving vehicles. So recent means not too long ago, right? So in the current time, uh, so in the past few years, motor companies, we know Mercedes-Benz, BMW and Tesla Motors, that's very popular, uh, have introduced that they're starting to show or starting to release their own self-driving vehicles. And vehicles is something like a car that we drive. Uh, so furthermore, the United Arab Emirates government announced the Smart Autonomous Mobility Strategy, which aims to transform 25% of total journeys into autonomously driven cars by the year 2030. So in the country, the government of the United Arab Emirates, they want to use more smart cars or these uh, self-driving cars uh, so that they would use 25% of all the journeys that are made in that country. So whether you're going to work or school, 25% of all the driving in that country to be done by autonomously driven cars. So autonomously means by yourself without the help of anyone else. So individually by yourself. Uh, so they want to have these cars that drive all by themselves automatically. So we see that word auto in there as well. So autonomously uh, driven cars by in the future, in the year 2030. So that's still about 13 years away, but that's their goal. So they're going to keep uh, introducing, they're going to keep using and showing and uh, putting these cars for use into that country so that they can meet that target by the year 2030. They also want to become leaders in the self-driving car world. So we know that many countries want to start using this, but they want to take the first step and they want to show the rest of the world. They want to be a model of that. They want to be the leaders of that uh, in the self-driving car world. As a part of these efforts, they announced their plan to purchase 200 Tesla self-driving vehicles for use as electric taxis by 2020. So in order to do that, their first step by the year 2020, 10 years before their goal, uh, they want to purchase 200 of these self-driving vehicles made by Tesla Motors and they want to start using that uh, as part of their efforts. Efforts means their work, right? They're trying uh, to accomplish that and this is their first step. So they're going to start using Tesla cars as uh, self-driving electric taxis, right? Very cool, very interesting. Uh, in addition, Dubai's police force unveiled its plan to employ a self-driving police patrol system in Dubai. So Dubai also is using or using these electric self-driving cars for their police force. So as they employ, that means they're going to use, right? They're going to uh, use it all throughout the country uh, as a self-driving police patrol system. And patrol is when you go around making sure that everything is safe. So instead of having people having to walk around all the time, which takes a lot of energy and time, they're going to use these self-driving cars, which can record things around them and keep neighborhoods safe in the country of Dubai. 
As the world's first outdoor security robot, it will patrol the streets of Dubai. So it's going to be the world's first security robot. So they're going to use it outside. So we've seen uh, robots being used for security and patrol purposes indoors, like in airports or malls, but now they're going to use it outside and Dubai wants to be the first. It says uh, it will provide 360 degree surveillance technology using biometric scanners for the search of suspects and suspicious objects. So in these self-driving electric cars, uh, they're going to put a 360 degree, so that means it can look all the way around, surveillance technology. Surveillance means they're scanning, they're looking around for anything that's dangerous. So they're using this technology in these self-driving patrol cars, the police department is, and they're going to use biometric scanners. So biometric scanners means that it can read people's faces or kind of tell the shapes of their bodies so they can recognize people. So they can recognize suspects. Suspects are people who they think uh, are dangerous or did something wrong and suspicious objects. So they're going to look for things that look kind of dangerous, like a, like a briefcase or something that's left on the street. It could be something dangerous. So they're going to use these uh, security 360 surveillance technology in these self-driving cars that patrol around uh, outside in the city of Dubai, in the country of Dubai, and they're going to use this to make uh, that place much safer. So here it says, uh, Dubai Police Chief Major General Abdullah Khalifa al Mari said, essentially we aim for the streets to be safe and peaceful without a heavy police patrol. So instead of having all these police officers walking around, which can make people feel a little bit uncomfortable, uh, even though that we're seeing that more and more in the world, they're saying that by using these robot and electronic cars that self-drive and have these surveillances, uh, that they're saying that we hope to use less police officers and more technology to keep that place safe. So this is very interesting, something that we talked about, we thought we would only see way into the future, but we're seeing this in the near future in Dubai. So this is a very interesting article and companies like Tesla and Mercedes and BMW, these large car companies are starting to help out uh, with this new technology. Very interesting, very cool. Maybe we'll see one of these uh, in Korea in the not too distant future. So it says here, uh, let's look at the, the comprehension questions and that's another picture and if you see the top of it we see kind of like this dome uh, round shaped thing and that's the 360 degree surveillance camera and this is a patrol car that drives by itself so it's going to go into different areas and take a lot of footage uh, about that area so that we can keep it safe so it says what did motor companies such as Mercedes BMW and Tesla Motors introduce so what did they start using? What did they start showing to the public? And if you think back to the article, we talked about it, their own self-driving vehicles. So each of these companies are starting to create and share their own self-driving vehicles. So cars that can drive by themselves. So these different companies are introducing this technology. The second question, who announced the smart autonomous mobility strategy? So we said it was a group. Uh, in Dubai and do you remember the name of the group it was a large name and it said the United Arab Emirates government so the government of uh, Dubai where Dubai is they want to start using this as part of their security uh, or their smart autonomous mobility strategy uh, what will be the role of the 200 purchased Tesla self-driving vehicles so are they going to be used as police cars are they going to be used as uh, public transportation like taxis do you remember what we read about in the article so ahead of their 2030 goal they have a goal for 2020 using these Tesla's and they want to use it for taxis electric taxis so they're not going to use gasoline like most cars do but they want to make it safer for the environment and cleaner so they want to use electric taxis so you would see something like that that people can use as taxis to travel all over all over uh, Dubai and the last part of our article is the fill in the blank. So let's take a look at today's questions. It says self-driving technology used to be a futuristic idea, which could only be seen in blank movies. So what kind of movies? Was it fantasy? Uh, was it uh, funny comedy movies? What kind of movies did we talk about that use a lot of technology and they're taking place in the future? And those are science fiction. So usually science fiction movies deal with space, time travel, a lot of technology, and it seems like an idea from 
a science fiction movie, but it's not. It's happening. It's in reality. So here, B says, however, it has now become a, and it's something that I just said, it's something that we can see, we can do, it's part of our lives. So it's something that is not fake, but it's part of our reality. It's become real. And the last question, as the world's first outdoor security robot, it will something the streets of Dubai. So we said that it's going to go all around Dubai and keep it safe and it will uh, make sure that there is nothing dangerous or suspicious. So it's going to patrol. So usually we see police officers walk around the neighborhood and that is how they patrol. But in Dubai, they want not people to do it, but the use of the self-driving electric cars. So this is something that's very cool, uh, very futuristic, but it's something that companies like Tesla is helping uh, to introduce into Dubai. And who knows, we may see it in our country and many different countries all over the world. So I hope you enjoyed today's article and seeing how technology helps us uh, live a safer life. And hopefully we'll see one of these very, very soon around our neighborhoods as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.